All right, so I'm in the process of taking apart a Maytag Maxima LX, or XL, excuse me. I don't think I have a video on this one yet. Uh, all I've done so far is take off the top, which is simply held in by two screws, one that goes there, one that goes there, and then the top comes off. Uh, the next step of this is taking off the control panel. Um, and I'm gonna show you how we're gonna do that here in a second. All right, so you're gonna remove this screw, not this screw, this screw, come over here, remove this screw all right what i've already done is i've already disconnected this wire because this wire clearly goes to the control panel um, and then after you remove those screws you have to kind of pop it up and out like this all right but it's still being held on by this we have to disconnect it right here obviously you want to make sure that it's not plugged in as soon as you take this out boom there's a control panel put that to the side somewhere And the rest of it's pretty simple. Screw here, quarter inch screw here, quarter inch screw here. And then if I remember correctly, it's this, this Phillips head and this Phillips head. All right, so I took these screws off on the top, took these Phillips heads out. It hold, kind of holds the top part of the frame, but then you have to come down here, pull out the drawer and remove these screws that are holding in the bottom part. All right, so I just took those bottom screws out, and now the whole thing will come off, like this. You still got a wire here, and you can disconnect it here. This is why we clean out the dryers. The more lint in the dryer, the higher the risk. A lot of pet hair, and a significant amount of lint. Can't really see the heating element yet, but it's dirty. All right, now I'm putting it back together. Uh, I just put the front door on. I haven't put any bolts in it. It kind of hangs on these tabs. Uh, but the next thing I'm gonna do is start screwing on all the rest of the screws. Uh, and then of course, you never wanna forget to plug everything back in. Otherwise it's not gonna work right and you're gonna have to get a call back. So there's only uh, two or three wires that I disconnected.